Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. In today's video, apologies, it's very windy, but it's 70 degrees out, which means I can open the garage and give some of these little boogers down here, check it out, I could give them some natural sunlight and let them bask nice, nice, and of course they're gonna be stupidly hungry, but that's not the focus of today's video. Today we have a few things that I have to get done. We're gonna start out with Urkel right over here and talk about his situation. But first off, check it out at the pet store. They had a bunch of guppies for super duper cheap because someone came and brought them in. So now I added a bunch of guppies to this little turtle pond. That little booger is basking nicely. Pancake is begging for food like crazy. So is Miss Yoda here. Yeah, but anyway, that that's just a fun little addition that I have. Anyway, this here is Mr. Urkel. Last winter, Urkel came out of brumation with an ear abscess. See the right side of his head? There's that little, little, little bump right there. He came out of brumation and it was huge. After a couple of days, it actually, the swelling went down significantly and you can see it's now, you know, a fairly small little point. So I had him in the greenhouse while it was still, you know, operational and functioning. And I had him in there because I didn't want to brumate him because I didn't want him to have any issues or I didn't want that infection to get worse. After I tore down the greenhouse, and I moved that tub here into the garage. He was with Mr. Pancake. I decided to go ahead and put him into brumation. I figured, well, he looks healthy and it's not bothering him, so it should be okay. And I got super duper paranoid that that infection would get worse and that he had the potential to die and I got super freaked out. And so after about a month, to a month and a half in brumation. If you guys click on the link right up over here, you can see the video where I saw Urkel in the water and I took that opportunity and ran with it and jumped in the 42 degree water to go get him. So now Mr. Urkel has been in my garage slowly warming up. Today happens to be 74 fun loving degrees out and so he is now warmed up the water temperature here is 27 celsius i don't know what that is in normal okay freedom units 81 degrees and his water in here is 80 which is literally perfect so the water temperatures are the same we won't put him in shock i had to go from 42 degrees up now to 80 so i did that really slowly over the course of like a week but now he's ready to go over here there's no real like a oh also i'm gonna take him to the vet and we're gonna get that that abscess lanced and drained uh, because I do not want to risk any issues. All right, mister, enjoy, enjoy uh, not having a brewmate and this little pond. I hope you like it, buddy. Whee, there he goes, down into the depths. So he's gonna probably, you know, take a day or two to explore, to acclimate well, and then I will probably take him to the vet early next week to go and get that abscess lanced and drained. He's also gonna be hungry because he has not eaten in a few months. There he goes, right down there. Let's see if he's hungry. I saw him trying to eat some of the food before. Let's see if he's interested in a little snack. Everyone else is hungry as well, so we'll toss them a little something something. Here you go, fellas. Oh yeah, he's hungry. His first meal in quite a little while. Here you go, bud. There he goes, Mr. Urkel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take him to the vet, get him all he Pancake, stop, there's food already in there. And uh, I'm gonna get him all nice and healed up. We're gonna get that, you know, lanced and drained. It's not really a difficult procedure, but it's not one that I feel comfortable doing at home. You gotta make sure that you get the whole infection, otherwise that abscess will just come right back. So we're gonna go take care of that. And then when the pond starts to warm up, Mr. Urkel back there will go right back into the pond to make some lucky ladies hopefully very happy. Also on this beautiful 70 degree day, look, this dragon fruit is awake and so is Mr. Crush right smack right there spring is coming soon folks so speaking of pulling out animals that i was nervous that are in brumation this right here is my box turtle chinese box turtle otis and my spotted turtle jelly's enclosure there's jelly basking right there i had them in the greenhouse but it was getting way too hot way too fast their water would be like 90 degrees during the day and then like 40 degrees at night that's too big of fluctuations. You're better off with consistent cold temperatures. So I decided to put the two of them out here for now. I didn't plan on brumating them, but I don't really have too much space and I know both of them can handle it. So I put them out here. As you guys might've seen, Jelly the Spotted Turtle literally went from being underneath the ice to 
basking when it's 70 degrees out. Not even a little bit of a problem as we can see. However, Otis the box turtle, I found like, so I put him in this enclosure. I found him buried right there when it got a little chilly and then it got super cold. And the next week I went and dug for him and I could not find him. And I really dug for him and I still can't find him. So I think today I'm gonna like super duper dig, really look for him. And if I can't find him, I think he's underneath this plant buried pretty far down. I might have to uproot it unfortunately, but it's pretty much dead. So not a big deal. And if I can't find him, then I'm just going to put a nice fat rock right here in case he pops up on the other side after his little winter slumber. So if he pops up on this side, he can't get out and put one right back here so he can't get out that way. But until then, I'm just going to dig, look for him. And if we can't find him, uh, we'll do some fun stuff inside. I, I literally put the time, I put the time lapse on because I was ready to like dig. I mean, last time I looked for him, I was really, really digging like far. And you guys just come look at this. Mr. Jelly is mad at me for being in the enclosure. Literally, I moved a little bit of dirt. Look, there he is. There's freaking, there's Otis. There is Quora Flavo Marginata, the Chinese box turtle. And he's alive because he's getting mad that I'm digging him. We are going to totally dig him out here. I'm going to give him a nice little mini setup in the garage. And because I'm just nervous, I'm nervous for the winter. I'm nervous for the cold. Now I have to wonder if I should just leave him. Nah, let's pull him out. Let's pull him out. He's young. Uh, he shouldn't have even had to go through brumation this bad. I'm lucky that he's okay and everything. Let's go ahead and excavate this little friend, Otis. Otis, come here, friend. Hi, beautiful. It's been a little while. Let's get you cleaned off here a little bit. All right, buddy, let's go ahead and get you into an enclosure. He looks fantastic. This could not have worked out better, folks. Awesome. So here we're just gonna give him a little rinse with a little bit of lukewarm water. And we're just gonna Rinse him off, get some of that dirt off. There we go, fella. And here we have a beautiful, resilient, fantastic, personable, one of my favorite species, the Chinese box turtle. I am going to, maybe tomorrow, I'm gonna get him some worms, some chopped night crawlers. Buddy, what is up with your eye? Oh, you're just annoyed because you're covered in dirt. I know, I know you're pissed off. There you go, extend those limbs. Let's get all that dirt off of you and get you looking. Oh, look, you're drinking? Yeah, he's drinking. Hi, friend. You look fantastic. You look great. What the heck? He looks phenomenal. You guys actually have no idea how excited I am about this. Like, I, I was so... Uh, Y'all saw. I was nervous he was going to escape. I was nervous that he was not going to be doing well. And I got very, very lucky. And he's doing just fine. So let's give him his little winter digs, which uh, is just going to be a whole lot of sphagnum moss a nice little bit of water and a little platform just in case he really needs to get up and out of the water. I put a little extra water in this enclosure than what I want in here because this sphagnum moss is super dry and it's gonna absorb a whole lot. So let's go ahead and put him, I don't know, up on top of here. Let him kind of go at his own pace. And uh, yeah, he's, he's gonna be a little bit of an unhappy camper for right now. Once nighttime temperatures get above 45 degrees probably, I will put him right back out. And it's just that we are gonna get, you know, super cold and freezing temperatures and whatnot. So I don't want him even close to the, you know, to the point where he could freeze. So I'm just very thankful that he survived 25, 28 degree nights. Mr. Otis, you can relax now. Guys, I am, I am just beyond happy with today, to be honest. Must be the lucky, lucky Dan the Turtle Man shirt. If you would like to get your own, hit the link right up over here. Also consider supporting me on Patreon because patrons got to see a bonus video because there's more stuff going on inside that I didn't even get to today. But anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one. Later, taters.